Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm Marvel Pop Addict, and today we have another tag video for you. So this is the top three pops tag, which has been going around recently. I think everyone's pretty much done it now except me. So this is my effort. Uh, I am wearing a Pogues t-shirt today because it's getting close to Christmas and I wanted to wear something Christmasy. I can't find a Santa hat or anything. So this will do. Fairy Tale in New York. Love it. Anyway, I was selected by Liam Nally to participate in this and it's been a bit of an awkward one for me because I put out a video before displaying like even my top five or my top ten favourite pops and much like Liam himself, I kind of like defer, uh, sorry, I defer each and every day, so one day I've got one, another favourite, the next day I've got another favourite and it just kind of, yeah, it mixes and matches as I get new pops. So some come in, some go out, some come in, some more go out, and it's just, it's a bit of a weird one, but I think i found a quite a nice little catharsis. I've got my three here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you them out of box. I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to go from my third favourite to my favourite favourite. My first of my top three. This is one you've seen quite recently and I was rather excited about it. It's become one of my favourites as you can tell because it's featuring in this video. There's my flocked rocket raccoon and he's wearing his Ravager gear. This is an absolutely awesome pop. No, I, I love it. I've, as you know, I've got quite a few Rocket Raccoons now. Like the first one I got is the, um, is the Endgame suit one, which is up there somewhere. That was kindly donated to me. Uh, I love this pop. Like the detail on it is absolutely fantastic, and I think it kind of really complements my collection really well. Um, so here's this one out of box. Uh, you don't need the commentary, so enjoy the music. So there he is back in his box, here's Rocket Raccoon. That is number three. So I'm still even there, so you don't forget, he's my third favourite. Uh, the next one, it's another Guardians of the Galaxy. If you've been following me from the very beginning, you'll know which one's coming up. There's this one that I, I sold, and I was really gutted about it, and I then went and repurchased it. It is, of course, my Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Yondu Donta, with his arrow doing the old Mary Poppins thing. Now, the Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy one pop. I still want to, like, I kind of want to get my hands on it, but I'm not overly fast. I've got this one, but I prefer his, like, proper, um, the little mohawk thing. I don't know what he actually calls it. It's a, it's a fin. His mohawk fins, like, my favourite out of the two. And I, I'm really surprised they didn't feature this in the original, like, Guardians of the Galaxy wave. I mean, I've since got quite a few of the. Guardians 2 pops I've got, Taser Face, God knows how many Groots I've got, I've got Rocket Raccoon, of course. But this should have been in the original wave in my opinion. Uh, I kind of paid through the nose to get my hands on this but it was worth it in my eyes. I will never sell this one. And again, here he is out of box. The only thing I will say about this is the box is a little bit battered, I, I wasn't actually aware that it was going to come like that when I ordered it, but it's in a protector so it's safe, nothing else can happen to it. As long as I've got the pop, I'm happy. So that is my number two, Yondu Yodonta, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So before I unveil my top favourite pop, I'm going to have a list of few honourable mentions. Uh, most of them are actually behind me. We've got 10 inch group, which you've already seen like, once or twice, so I won't bother getting that one out. And um, it's 
the Avengers Endgame 4. <clears throat> He's holding Stormbreaker in one hand and Milnir in the other. But that is an absolutely incredible pop. I love it. But sadly, I couldn't shortlist it for my top three. Um, I can't actually remember like, one of the other ones. But there's one there. It's the um, Four versus Thanos movie moment. That's the one. Although it's not a bobblehead, so it kind of detracts the appeal a little bit. But those are my honourable mentions. So I'm going to stop blabbering on about pops that aren't anything to do with this video. I'm going to show you my top favourite number one pop out of my entire collection. He snapped his fingers to sacrifice himself for the fate of the universe. He is one of my top favourite role models from the comics. He is, of course, Tony Stark wielding the Infinity Gauntlet. Now this is my favourite pop for many reasons. One, obviously, it kind of depicts him in his last moments before uh, he bites the dust, so to speak. And it's Iron Man, I love Iron Man. You know, if it wasn't for Iron Man, we wouldn't have the MCU. And the MCU is an absolutely fantastic piece of work. I, I haven't spoke to one person that said otherwise. And to be fair, he looks a bit badass. But in this pose, although he's not actually melt down, which is what actually happened in the movie. I'm sorry if you haven't seen Endgame, but if you haven't, sort yourselves out. It's been out for about six or seven months. You know, see it. But this is literally my top favourite pop out of the lot. And I struggle like hell to get my hands on this. Of course, the pop tart helped me get this one. So again, thanks very much, Lee. And here he is out of box. summary now. Number three is Flopped Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. Number two is Yondu Udonta doing the old Mary Poppins y'all thing from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And of course, number one in my collection and kind of in my heart. So that sounds a bit sad. It's Tony Stark wielding the Infinity Gauntlet from New York Comic Con of this year. There we go. Thank you very much Liam for tagging me in that and now I believe the convention is I've got to tag three people. So I'm going to name three people who I know haven't done this and hopefully they'll put out some pretty decent videos. Um, Tori Saurus, uh, Nathan's Pop Hunt and Flame Wither 4. Uh, those are my three nominations. I'm not going to nominate any of the other guys again because I'm pretty sure they don't want to do that. Unless Liam you want to do it again because I know you kind of differ from your favourites each and every day so you could give us a whole new video. Although the cycle would be a bit ruthless and pointless. So there we have it. That is my top favourite three pops. And to you guys I just nominated. Good luck and I look forward to seeing your videos. Um, just to say this apart from tomorrow will be probably my last upload before Christmas so Merry Christmas to you I've already said that but I didn't expect this to go up uh, I'm shooting this on Sunday the 15th uh, if you've watched this before Monday the 16th tune in at 12 p.m. midday because my secret Santa video will be uploaded and there are some really really fun surprises in that so please tune into that and please like and share and yeah that's it like share comment subscribe ding the notification bell for more updates as per usual thanks for watching guys i'll catch you on the next one